first at noon, the lives of three families changed forever. Their three teenage sons were killed by a driver who police say lost control, hitting them. The boys were on their way to a youth soccer tournament early Saturday morning when tragedy struck. And now their families are trying to come to terms with what happened as they now plan their funerals. CBS 4 Ted Scouten is live in North Miami where he just got new surveillance video of the moments leading up to this tragedy. Ted. Carly and Lauren, that surveillance video shows those three boys walking over some railroad tracks to get into the area where we are right now. Seconds later, you see a car coming across those tracks as well, also over to this area. This is a memorial that has been growing here uh, on the scene now since it happened. You can see that there's also a lot of friends here from Edison High School where two of those boys went to school. Family has been stopping by here as well. A mother in terrible pain, her 15-year-old son, Lenz Desir, was killed early Saturday morning, along with his two friends in North Miami. The three were walking to catch a bus to get to a soccer tournament. Lenz's father is devastated. Last time I see him, then Friday night, just me and him just go to waste what we eat. That's the last time. And uh, on Saturday morning, they all called me. I wasn't walking. They all called me. My son dead. Surveillance video shows grainy images of the three boys walking on Northeast 125th Street Saturday morning. Seconds after they walk out of view, we can see a car heading over the tracks in the direction of the boys. They take a three, three young boy, three soccer player in life. I she driving so fast. I she come, where she come from? Where she come from? You take three life. We left boys like that. Investigators tell us the boys were hit by a car, killing all of them. The driver was taken to the hospital. The boys were members of the Little Haiti Football Club. Their director said they were good kids who studied hard and were strong athletes. These three children were the type of kids that any parent would wish their child could be like. So we were really, really proud of these three young men. They represented the, the Little Haiti community very well. They represented the city of Miami very well. Now, according to investigators here in North Miami, that driver is still in the hospital. She was listed in critical condition. Now we understand she's unstable. Police have not been able to tell us yet what caused this crash. They're still investigating. Meanwhile, these three families are planning funerals today. Live in North Miami, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.